All right, so I'm going to go through a quick uh, overview of uh, After Effects' interface. Uh, now, I didn't do this on opening up, but just so you can see, if you hold uh, Control-Alt-Shift while you're opening up After Effects and you hold it uh, all the way till you get a dialog box, it'll let you reset the preferences in After Effects. Uh, and that can be useful if um, you have issues with something just not working. Um, After Effects keeps crashing. You could try that and see if it works. Uh, your windows are not in the right order, something is set wrong, um, you can try that. I didn't do it because sometimes it'll take After Effects uh, a bit longer to open up. Um, I want to have this already opened up, okay? So on a PC, it's Control-Alt-Shift. On a Mac, it's Command-Option-Shift, and that's for any Adobe product, product. You hold that down while you're opening it, and it'll let you reset those preferences. All right, so uh, as you get into After Effects, this is the main area that you'll see. Um, this home screen, learn, sync settings, new projects, and so on. Uh, I'm just going to close this. I don't really need that open right now. This is the main interface. If you've ever done video before, this is the uh, a very similar layout that you would see in a video program. Um, I'm going to start up here at the very top. So file menu, very similar to what you would see in other Adobe programs. Um, new projects, closing projects, opening, saving, exporting, that kind of thing. Uh, edit, you'll see a lot of copies, pastes, duplicates. Uh, preferences are down here, so if you do want to edit any preferences, you can do that as well. Um, composition, now this is where uh, we're going to get into the different territory. So if you were in uh, Premiere or you were in a uh, video program, uh, typically you'd make a sequence. In After Effects, they call it a composition. Okay, um, You can think of this as your document uh, of what you're going to be doing. right? So. If I'm going to do an animation, I would make a new composition, and my animation would go into that composition. Okay, um, And then here's all the different settings for those compositions here. Um, layers work very similar to what you would see inside of Photoshop or Illustrator. It's just different areas that you're painting stuff or coloring stuff or animating or creating things. Um, here are some effects, so very much like you would see in Photoshop um, or Illustrator. Here are some animation properties. Uh, so as you set keyframes for things, this is where you could uh, adjust the keyframes, um, tweak the keyframes, set different properties and parameters. Uh, here's view, so you control uh, what you're seeing inside of your comp. So let me just make a new composition real quick. And I'm just going to accept these settings here and hit OK. And now if I go to view, you'll see all these are kind of, or a lot of them are lit up. So obviously zooming in is a thing you can zoom in zoom out. It's a lot easier to use the hotkeys, so I just use the hotkeys for that. Um, showing rulers, so you can obviously see the rulers, and again those hotkeys uh, carry over from Photoshop and Illustrator, that control R, which is nice. Um, switching different views, and so on. Uh, we also have windows, so just like Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, here's a bunch of windows on the right that are collapsed, and then you could pop these open to see more of these windows uh, as needed. Here's the help, and then you can obviously get more helps on specific areas, which is nice. Uh, After Effects has a lot of different um, uh, areas that you may work in. So in one instance, you may be doing a little scripting. You may be writing some expressions. You may need help with uh, effects or just animations or just keyboard shortcuts. And so you can get help specifically on those areas, or you can just type it in, right? Um, there's also different things over, where is that, under view. Uh, nope, not view. Here it is, uh, under this area, where we can basically tell it what we're doing. So if we're doing color adjustments, we can switch on color. And what After Effects does, it just resets all of our windows uh, so that we can get into this color editing mode. Okay, So that's what it's assuming that we want to do. If I click back on here, I go to animation. Now we're in this animation mode. Now none of these matter. We can do this manually. And typically, that's what I do. So I barely ever use anything like this. Um, I just leave it as is, OK? Oops, close, close, there we go. Um, here's some effects and presets as well. Now, these are different than uh, these ones in that we can actually just type here and start searching for stuff, which is nice. So if I wanted to do a typewriter effect, here's a typewriter effect. Okay, if I want to do a TV effect, here's a TV effect. So it's very easy to like, type stuff in there and search for things. Here's audio, so if we had any audio playing, this would show us the levels of our audio. Here's some info. As I move our mouse around, uh, this gives us the info of where our mouse is at. 
and any colors we're picking up. So I'm just going to make a new layer real quick. Okay. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make a new solid. And I'm just make it that gray color. And then I'm going to go to uh, generate. And I'm going to generate a four color gradient. There we go. So now as I move my mouse around, you can see over here that it's showing me the color value for this. Uh, now my number is going crazy because I have this set to um, something I was working on earlier. I'm just going to reset that. There we go. And so now you see we have this like 0 to 255 number as I move my mouse around. It's showing me the different values of that. Okay. Now that's extremely helpful when we get into doing some effects, matching things up, that kind of thing. Uh, there are brushes in here. You can see brushes. Um, there's painting in here too. Content aware filling, which is a new feature. Um, tracking. Text in here, obviously. So Times New Roman is the default on my PC. Uh, paragraph stuff, aligning things. There's libraries we can bring in, uh, and so on. Um, oops. Uh, my scroll wheel also acts as a zoom. That's why it popped in there. Uh, up here at the uh, under the main menu bar, is our home button. Which I never actually used the home button. I guess it just brings that up. I never had to use that. Um, this is our selection tools, hand tools, and so on. So these are our main tools that we'll use. Um, it's it's kind of rare that you actually switch between a lot of these tools. Most of the stuff we're going to be doing is going to be in this window here or in this window down here. Okay, These are the two main areas that we're going to be focusing on. Um, it's rare that we would need to actually physically go up here because we'll just use the hotkeys to get to what we need up there. Um, so that's what that is. So uh, you can see that. Uh, this is our main work area. So what our, our video or animation looks like, this is it. So this is kind of like the monitor for our animation. Uh, you see I can move these like little targets around and change where these colors are at. Okay, um, down here at the bottom of this is all different ways we can kind of change what we're seeing in here. So here's the magnification and say fit. Typically, I like it to be just a little bit in. Uh, we can change some of the um, display areas there. We can turn off our, um, our outlines, our path visibility, taking snapshots, changing what colors we're seeing, and so on. So the buttons down here to take note of. Um, this is our timeline. So this is our composition. So we're in comp one. This is comp one. That's what we're seeing. This is that solid. And there's little arrows on the side of this where I could open this up and see what's inside each one of these. And all of these properties that have this little stopwatch next to it, that can be animated. Okay. So uh, it's important to, to be aware of this because this is what, why we're here. This is why we're in After Effects. We're not making a single painting. Uh, we're doing animation, so we need to be masters of these tools. Okay, so those things can collapse. You can have hundreds of layers here, uh, all doing different things. You'll notice the eyeball, just like Photoshop or Illustrator. There's a lock, so you can't change it. There's also a solo button. Um, so if we were to have multiple layers, and I'll just duplicate this and scoot that over and duplicate this and scoot that over. If I just want to see one of these layers, I can hit that solo button and just look at that one layer. Okay. Um, here's more options. We'll get into what these mean, but these are just different options for that layer and how they're uh, animating and blending. Um, here's some parenting stuff. Here's some in and outs. This area here can be switched. So I can right click and hide things, or I can bring things back. Um, I can also come down here and turn things on and off. So sometimes you may see someone's interface look like this. They've just turned off some of these other options. Um, and just like the other ones, you may not need uh, all of these. Some of these things you may not need right away, and so you'll come back to it. Um, typically, um, this setup right here is what I usually go with. Okay, So just these far two left ones on. This is our timeline. You'll notice that there's a couple things. Um, this blue ticker I can just drag. So if I'm way over here, I can just click and drag, click and drag. I'm not going back to this and dragging. I'm just clicking and dragging wherever on this gray bar, and it grabs it. If I'm down here and I click and drag, I'm actually going to be moving the layer, and that's a bad thing to do at this point. I want to be up here just clicking and dragging, and that shows us what time we're at. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do a little uh, quick animation on this just so we can see um, what this looks like. So I'm going to keyframe my position there and there. Okay. So as I drag this, you can see the animation moving from one side to the other. Okay. Um, 
this little bar below it is our work area. So let's say that my keyframes are right here. And I'm going to hit the space bar to, hit, to play this. And you'll see nothing happens for quite a bit. And then the animation happens. And then it stops. So if I'm trying to tweak just this animation, I don't want to have to wait until uh, I get right to it. I want to worry about this area right at this point. So that's what this is for. If I grab this and drag it in, and then I grab this and drag it in, that's the work area. So now when I hit play, it'll only play what's in that work area. And so I can visualize what's happening here a bit better and then really tweak how that animation is happening. Now I can go even further on these keyframes and I'm going to uh, change these to Easy Ease keyframes, which changes their icon. I'm going to switch to this button. This is our graph editor. And then I'm going to right click and switch this graph and I'll get even more options. Okay, And then this will allow me to control how fast this thing is actually moving. Okay, so over here on the left, we're seeing uh, this is the time, so 425, uh, 523, whatever time we're, our ticker is at. And as we hit play, it's showing us that we're playing at 30 frames a second. Okay, that's what our composition is set to. Right, so there's plenty of options there. We can also zoom in on this area. That's what this is for down here. Click and drag, we can zoom in. I can move this over, move my ticker over, and I can really focus on just that area. Sometimes you'll have an animation and you'll be uh, tweaking keyframes one right after the other, right after the other, and you need to zoom in there so you can see exactly uh, what's happening with those. Okay. Um, and then this here is just another way to zoom in. You can see that this is zooming this area, and then this one zooms that area. No different than this, it's just doing it in a different way. Okay. Uh, so that's essentially the interface. Uh, we'll get more into the specifics of how each one of these things work and functions and how we're able to use them. Uh, but for now, it's a, just a good walkthrough for how this interface is uh, laid out.